In this video, we're going to talk about the two things that impact the direction that your golf shots are flying. So the very first thing we want to talk about is the club face angle. So the club face is this part of the club that hits the golf ball. The golf ball actually touches the face of the club. Now the bottom of the club down here, this is called the sole of the club. And then the top portion of your club is called the leading edge. Uh, and so we've got these different parts of the golf club. So the face of the club is what has the actual grooves on it. So the grooves are what hit that golf ball and create spin on the ball. So if the club face is slightly angled shut or slightly angled open, then when it comes in and strikes that golf ball, it's gonna end up putting some side spin on the golf ball. Now if those grooves and the club face are completely square when they hit the golf ball, well then it's not gonna put side spin on the golf ball. Instead it's just gonna put back spin and that's what makes that ball launch high in the air and it goes straight. But when the club face is slightly angled open, so if I hold this club up right now to the camera and I slightly twist that face open or I slightly twist that face shut, that's what's gonna create that different angle that the ball and the club face come together at and that's what creates that side spin on the golf ball. So what you need to know about the face angle in relation to your golf shot, if you have golf shots that are going from left to right, so they have that slice style of curve on them where they start off left and then they spin back to the right with a big arching curve right, that's probably because you've got that club face open. So think slice, open face, think hook, closed face. So that's the first two things you need to learn about the relation of your face to the shot type that you're seeing the golf ball spin, that direction it's spinning, that curve that golf ball has during flight. So if your golf ball is doing the opposite, if it's flying from right to left, so you hit it out to the right and you watch it then start spinning hard, curving hard back to the left, that's called a hook or a draw, and this is due to hitting with a shut club face. So again, if you can understand this basic principle that an open club face is gonna create side spin that spins it to the right like a slice, and then a closed club face is gonna create that left spin that spins it left like a hook, then we can start learning important topic number two, and that is swing path. So swing path, if you look at the down the line view here, when we set up to our ball, imagine we've got our golf ball here, and then imagine a target line. So if I've got my club here as a straight line and that, that golf ball is pointing straight out to my target, so we're aimed up straight out at the driving range, at the, at the fairway, at the green, we're on a straight target line going left there. Now as we swing this club down to the ball, the swing path that your club takes to get to the golf ball also impacts the direction that that ball is gonna fly. So if you are swinging down to the golf ball in a straight swing path, and how you can test this is you can set two golf balls or you can set two tees up, but you'll put them slightly wider than what your club face is. So for my club to come down perfectly straight on a straight path and hit my golf ball, it would go right between those two golf balls that I set down there. So if I put two tees in the ground, I wouldn't recommend golf balls because you might accidentally hit them and they might spray all over the place. So instead use two tees in the ground but what you can do is practice the gate drill where you can practice swinging through the gate, trying to get that club face to come through the gate there and not make contact with either of those tees that you've got in the ground. So that's gonna indicate you swing on a straight swing path down to the golf ball. Now imagine instead that I'm swinging from the inside. So if I get to the top of my back swing, my arms start to drop down in and I start to finish my swing from the inside. Now I'm gonna strike this first golf ball here. So I'm coming from the inside, I'm going to end up hitting that first golf ball, and I'm going to push these balls kind of at an angle to the outside. So we call this the inside to outside swing, and that's coming from the inside, hitting that golf ball, and then the club continues on to the outside of that target line. So if you imagine that target line again, we've got the inside, and then we've got the outside, which is up on the top side of it. Now the opposite would be an outside to in swing. So this is where most beginners have a slice because they do a move at the top of their swing where they start to throw that club to the outside too soon. They let that arm kind of get away from their body and they end up coming from the outside swiping across the ball back to the inside and we call that an over the top move when your upper body kind of gets out over the top of the ball and then turns back to the inside. So this over the top move ends up creating this out to in swing path and that's what starts 
starts those golf balls off to the left. So if you're hitting from the inside to the outside, that's gonna push the ball out to the right. And if you're coming over the top swinging from the outside in, that's gonna pull that golf ball to the left. So swing path, club face, these are two things that you need to think about. If you have a inside to outside swing path, meaning you're pushing that golf ball out to the right, and then you have a slightly shut club base, that's gonna put that draw spin that brings it back to the left. So that's how you hit an ideal draw. Now, if that club base is open, well, now you're gonna hit a push golf shot that goes to the right, and then an open club face relative to that swing path is now gonna create slice spin that makes it go even further right. So if you hit these pushed right golf shots that slice even further right, and now you're out of bounds, that's a result of you having a right swing path but not having the club face closed enough to create that draw spin. Vice versa, if you hit a pulled hook shot, that means you're just coming across the ball from the outside in, pulling across the golf ball, hitting that golf ball to the left because of that outside to in swing path. So the golf ball starts off to the left, and then on top of that, you had a shut club face, and that's gonna put that hook spin or that draw spin on it. So now you pulled the golf shot left, and it continues hooking or spinning even further left because you had an outside to in swing path with a shut club face. So ideally, if you're hitting them to the left, if you're pulling them, hitting them out to the left to start, then you want that club face to be slightly open so that it hits it with a fade spin or a slice spin that's gonna bring it back to the right so it comes back to the center. So depending on which shot type you wanna play, if you wanna play a fade, which is a minor slice, that means it doesn't have that drastic banana hooking bend like a slice does. A fade is just slight left to right movement, not a lot, but a little bit. Then you wanna start that club down from hitting outside in just slightly, or we can aim ourselves a little bit left and hit a straight shot to the left, and then that fade spin will automatically you know, take over and it'll bring it back center of the fairway. And then vice versa, if we wanna hit a draw, we just swing out to the right, hitting with an inside out swing pass so we can push that ball to the right to start, and then we have a shut club face that's gonna bring that draw or that hook spin back on it to bring it back center as it moves from the right back to the left. So keep this in mind. If you wanna hit perfectly straight shots, then the key there would just be have a straight swing path into the ball, doing the gate drill, working on trying to get that swing path coming into that golf ball straight, and then also making sure your club face is straight when it makes contact with the ball. If it's slightly closed or slightly open, you'll know because you're gonna see that draw spin or that fade spin as it flies through the air. But if it goes dead straight, then you know you made straight contact in the center of the face and you didn't have an angle on the face at impact. So that tells you the club face was perfectly square when it hit the golf ball. So I know it's a lot of information to take in. Uh, try to think about it logically, how the swing path can either push the ball to the right or pull the ball to the left. And then depending if that club face is open or closed, will impact what kind of spin it puts on the ball. And that'll impact how much that ball's going to curve either right to left or left to right in the sky. 